All right, y'all. So what we're gonna do today is uh, I should probably get that off there, huh? <laughs> Doesn't matter. But uh, what we're gonna do today? This is a HP Elite Desk 800, fourth generation. Um, it's a pretty decent little machine, but generally, unless you order the NVMe for this generation, they came with an SSD, or there were poor man models that had SSDs. This one was actually a not quite so poor man model. It had an NVMe originally, so the stud should still be in there. And anyway, we're going to show you how to pop an NVMe in it, but before we do, Let's show you that it is a working machine and something a little bit out of the ordinary. I don't have a keyboard hooked up, but... Oh, that's the hookup power. You know what? Let's go on ahead and feed it a keyboard and rodent in here. Oh, I call the mouse a rodent. I didn't get it. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So she's up and hooked up there. Give her power. I did hit the power button. There she goes. I always forget these things are a little, so you got that startup delay crap in there. Hey, check this out. You see that? It says Big Sir. It ain't kidding. I'm going to let it boot just to show y'all. <laughs> Everything in it works. I mean, I'm not going to mess around much because the point of this video is changing the drives. But um, I'm just kind of showing you that for a Hackintosh candidate, um, these are really, really easy. Dirt fucking easy. Um, and what does Apple think this is? It, this one actually takes the updates. They let me into my developer program and everything. So Apple thinks it's a Mac Mini. And it used to... Th oh, yeah, because that's, that's right, because I used to back up from my iMac Pro. <laughs> I remember that. Okay. Um, and one of these Hackintoshes around here I had to create it as an iMac Pro because it's a dual processor. So anyway, let's shut that down and get to the part where we're changing the drive here. Okay, so number one with these baby HPs, don't count on just pulling the power. You can still shock that board. I do not know why. I don't care. I'm just pointing that out. Go on ahead and down your power button. This one actually falls under the old hit your power button and clear the rest of it out of there um, clause. However you want to say that. Okay, so slip this out. You know what? Let me put the camera to where it can see what I'm doing. And try not to make it stare at my... Here we go. We'll just do it right here. Okay, so this screw is a thumb screw. You slide the cover forward, it literally comes out. There's grooves in there. There's no John Wayne living here. Don't John Wayne the shit. Alright. Now, I'm going to pop the solid drive out of solid, the old SSD, um, which isn't really old. It's one of my slam drives I use for testing. Um, and no, I will not sell a Hackintosh. You want to come over on a personal level and bring a machine, I'll help you make one. But And I don't even charge. Fuck it. Bring me a fat one. Because, um, quite frankly, I agree with everyone else. Apple doesn't make anything with enough horsepower. And that's kind of a bad thing for most of us. Okay, so I pop my NVMe in there. And I gotta find that screw, which I know I have. <clears throat> Question is where? Uh, I know there's one I can rob really quick. And that's what I'm about to do. Wait, 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 wait. I 
believe I have one. Where'd my little white boy go? There he is. So I held the screw on the end of the screwdriver with my finger. Um, do not use a magnetized screwdriver in these things. This is the voice of I have had some very bad experiences. Um, again, I don't know why, but it tends to clear the CMOS. Okay, so we now have that tray available for something else. But, you see that? It doesn't quite clear. It's sitting right on top of the NVMe. However, we're going to try it anyway. And we know that the bootloader on this drive will not load because this um, drive was just in that one, a Dell T7910. And it has a bootloader for that one. But now, let's reapply power. And we'll at least let it attempt it before I go installing it. Um, this one's leaving with Windows 11. Come on, boys and girls. Wake up. She's just auto detecting shit. There we go. Now she's coming up. So that caddy I'm taking out. And I can press the escape key for startup menu. Or I can let it try and boot. Um, let's, let's just see. Will it load? A Coffee Lake chipset. Yes, the board in that Dell has been swapped on another on a single processor Coffee Lake chipset. My bet is no, it won't. Okay, so we're giving up there. We know it won't. There's no way it's going to boot <laughs> that chipset on this, or that EFI on this. And I'm putting the cover back on while it's running. And you can't touch that power button. It's got a guard around it when the cover's off. But you can stick a screwdriver in there. <laughs> Very gently. Again, John Wayne doesn't live here. Okay. So at this point in time, yeah, I can see that that is definitely lifting up off the mount. So at this point in time, now that I've verified that that's a problem, I'm going to go on ahead and pull the drive caddy out, set it to the side, and when I give this Actually, um, this one I traded for a Mac um, Pro trash can 2013 um, for another project I'm working on.
drives installed. I'm not going to show you how to install Windows because um, if you don't know how to do that, you probably shouldn't be changing a drive, especially not when you're pulling it out of a Hackintosh. Oh yeah, that's got Windows, that's got Linux, that's got everything on it. So that's how to upgrade your SSD to an NVMe or just how to swap out either or because, you know, you pretty much saw the whole process there. Um, we will holler at y'all later. Hope it helped someone. If it didn't, well, hey, sorry I didn't tell no good or jokes.